How did wild animals adapt and thrive during the Ice Age? The Ice Age was a challenging time for every animal. From land mammals to the fishes in the ocean and the birds in the sky, nobody was safe from the mesmerizing cold. So today, we're posing the question, how did these wild animals adapt and thrive during the Ice Age? So let's jump right into it. Number 1. Thick Fur and Hair First off, the thick fur and hair of wild animals played a crucial role in their survival during the Ice Age by providing insulation and protection against extreme cold temperatures. Think of this fur as armor against the cold. This adaptation allowed them to retain body heat and stay warm in icy environments. The primary function of thick fur is to provide insulation by trapping a layer of air close to the animal's body. Since air is a poor conductor of heat, which creates a barrier that prevents the loss of body heat to the surrounding cold environment, the trapped air acts as an insulating layer, helping to maintain the animal's body temperature. Also, thick fur assists in thermoregulation, which is, by definition, the regulation of body temperature. This process helps in maintaining a stable internal body temperature despite external temperature fluctuations. In the freezing temperatures that were present during the Ice Age, the dense fur helped to retain body heat. What's more, the dense fur or hair of animals acts as a protective barrier against moisture as well. It prevents direct contact between the animal's skin and the icy environment, reducing heat loss and protecting the skin from freezing. Some other ways that the thick fur helped animals back then, in addition to insulation, was that thick fur or hair also provided camouflage, allowing the animals to blend into their snowy or icy surroundings. This adaptation helped them evade predators or ambush prey more effectively. For some frame of reference, let's talk about a few animals that utilized their thick fur to their advantage. Everyone knows about the woolly mammoth, which is an iconic Ice Age species. This massive mammal had long, shaggy hair that provided excellent insulation against the cold. Its thick fur consisted of an outer layer of coarse guard hairs and an under layer of softer, insulating hair. This adaptation allowed them to survive in the frigid environments of the northern regions. The cave lion was a large feline that inhabited Europe and Asia during the Ice Age, and guess what? It had a thick fur coat, helping it withstand the cold temperatures of its habitat. The fur helped to keep the lion warm and protected during the harsh winters. Also, our good old friend the giant ground sloth which was a massive herbivorous mammal that lived in the Americas during the Ice Age, had some thick fur too. While it didn't have fur all over its body, it did possess long, coarse hair on its back and sides, which likely provided some insulation against the cold. And of course, who could forget the Irish elk? Also known as the giant deer, this was a species that inhabited Eurasia during the Ice Age. It had a thick, shaggy coat of fur to help it survive in cold environments. Number 2. Layered Fat Deposits The layered deposit of fat, often referred to as blubber, played a crucial role in the survival of wild animals during the Ice Age. It served as a specialized adaptation to not only withstand extremely cold temperatures, but also fluctuations in food availability. So let's talk about it. First off, the primary function of layered fat deposits is once again insulation. The fat works in the same way that the thick fur does, but not quite. Fat is actually an excellent insulator and helps prevent the loss of body heat. The thick layer of blubber beneath the animal's skin acts as a barrier, reducing heat transfer between the animal's body and the cold environment. It effectively retains body heat and keeps the animal warm. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that this blubber also provided cushioning against physical impacts? Well, it shielded the animal's internal organs and sensitive tissues from freezing temperatures and helped reduce the risk of injury or damage caused by collisions with icy surfaces or other objects. Also, fat deposits also serve as a vital energy reserve during periods of food scarcity, such as the long winters of the Ice Age. And by long winters, we mean the whole Ice Age. 
This stored fat can be metabolized to provide energy for the animal when food sources are limited or inaccessible. We can't even begin to describe how important this adaptation is for the animals, because not only does it keep them alive long enough to find more food, but also allows the animals to thrive in the cold. What's interesting is in aquatic animals, the layered fat deposits also provide buoyancy. What we mean is the blubber acts as a buoyant layer, enabling these animals to stay afloat and conserve energy while swimming or resting in the water. It actually reduces the effort required for locomotion and helps them navigate icy waters efficiently. Let's look at some examples of animals that had this layer of fat and used it well. One of these animals was the woolly rhinoceros. This was a large mammal that inhabited the northern regions during the Ice Age. It had a thick layer of fat beneath its skin, providing insulation and energy reserves to endure the cold temperatures and go long periods without any food. The steppe bison was a species of bison that roamed the grasslands of Eurasia during the Ice Age. It also had a robust build and a layer of fat for insulation and energy storage during periods of scarce food availability. Our good old friend, the stellar sea cow, was a massive marine mammal that lived in the Bering Sea during the Ice Age. And by its name, you can already tell it had a thick layer of blubber that helped it withstand the frigid waters and provide insulation and energy reserves. Also, like the sea cow, the harp seals were a species that inhabit the Arctic region and were present during the Ice Age. They too have a thick layer of blubber that provides insulation, buoyancy, and energy storage, enabling them to survive in freezing waters. Number 3. Hibernation The process of hibernation played a crucial role in helping wild animals survive during the Ice Age. So what is hibernation? Well, this is a state of dormancy characterized by a significant reduction in metabolic rate, body temperature, and overall activity. It allowed animals to conserve energy, endure long periods of food scarcity, and minimize exposure to extremely cold temperatures. Firstly, hibernation allowed animals to conserve energy during times when food was scarce or unavailable. By reducing their metabolic rate and entering a state of torpor, hibernating animals significantly lowered their energy requirements. They relied on stored fat reserves within their body to sustain themselves throughout the hibernation period, enabling them to survive for extended periods without actively foraging. Also, during hibernation, animals experienced a substantial drop in body temperature, which helped them adapt to the cold temperatures of the Ice Age. They entered a state of hypothermia, with their body temperature decreasing close to the ambient temperature. This reduced their heat loss to the environment, conserving energy, and minimizing the need for additional food consumption to maintain body warmth. What's more, hibernating animals avoided the harsh winter conditions of the Ice Age by retreating to protected locations, such as burrows, dens, or caves. These sheltered environments offered insulation from extreme cold, strong winds and snow accumulation. And finally, hibernation helped animals synchronize their activity patterns with the availability of resources. As we mentioned before, by entering a dormant state during the Ice Age's harsh winters, when food was scarce and vegetation was minimal, hibernating animals actually avoided competing for limited resources. This reduced intraspecies competition and increased their chances of survival during challenging times. Number 4. Adapted Respiratory Systems During the Ice Age, one of the more interesting adaptations that wild animals possessed was their specialized respiratory systems, specifically the development of nasal passages that warmed the frigid air before it reached the lungs. Let me explain. Animals with adapted respiratory systems possessed nasal turbinates. These structures increased the surface area available for heat exchange within the nasal passages. The turbinates consisted of thin bony plates covered in highly vascularized tissue. As animals inhaled cold air, the nasal turbinates warmed the air by transferring heat from the warm outgoing air to the incoming cold air. Pretty cool, right? 
What's more is within the nasal turbinates, a countercurrent exchange mechanism enhanced the warming process. Blood vessels carrying warm blood were located close to the incoming cold air. This arrangement allowed for efficient heat exchange, preheating the air before it reached the lungs. The adaptation of specialized nasal passages in Ice Age animals served to minimize heat loss during respiration. By warming the inhaled air, these animals reduced the temperature gradient between their core body temperature and the external environment. This adaptation enabled them to maintain their body temperatures more effectively in cold climates. So that's our video. We hope we were able to provide some more insight into how the wild animals could survive in the icy cold temperatures of the Ice Age. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay up to date on videos like this. See you next time!